Hi everyone, in this video I will demonstrate adding products to a project. And this video being part of the Getting Started series, uh, we're going to pick up right where we left off from the previous video, which was creating a project file. Over here on the left hand side of the interface, you'll see the Product Explorer tab, Labor Explorer, and the Package Explorer. Uh, we haven't talked about packages yet, that's something that you can read further on in the user guide. Um, but we're going to go ahead and add some products, and to do that, uh, if you click the Product Explorer, this will dock out, and if you want to pin this in place while you're working, you can click this little thumb uh, tack icon here. That will now dock. And what you're seeing here are the three items that I added in a previous video in this series. A receiver, uh, some wire, and a speaker when we talked about adding products to your catalog. Now of course your list will be much larger than this, so if you're trying to find a particular product you can use the search field here, or you can use this quick filter um, to very easily find what products you're looking for. Now before I drag over some products I'm going to go ahead and choose a location and a system here in the drop zone. I'm going to choose the living room AV system and then drag over the receiver. And that has now been added to the project. If you want to add more than one product, you can change your quantity here. In this case, I'll add four of these speakers and drag them over. And those have now been also added to the living room in this case. You can also add to multiple locations at a time. So for instance, if uh, the library and the kitchen were going to get the same number of speakers, say in this case two, you can then change the quantity to two, drag this over, and you can see that two speakers were then added to each location. And while I have those two rooms selected, I'm going to go ahead and add wire, since this was the third product that we downloaded. And I'm going to put two drops of this uh, wire, speaker wire, drag it over. And what you're seeing now is a prompt for the wire length. Uh, in this case, the default is 100 feet, and if you want to change that, you certainly can, and say uh, with an average of these two, they might be 50 feet uh, a drop. And you can also choose a head end here, if you'd like. This list um, will be used in drawings later on in uh, installation reports. Uh, not required to assign a head end, but you certainly can. The length is what's important, because if you'll recall, wire is being charged on a per foot basis when it is bulk wire. So in this case, 50 feet feet per drop, hit assign, and then two drops of wire at 50 feet each were added to the project. When you're done adding products, you can uncheck this little thumb tack icon and it will dock out of the way. And very similarly, you can add uh, labor items if you wanted to add programming to a project. So um, just for an example here, I'm going to uncheck these. You can also use these deselect all buttons here. And I'm just going to choose the main house and assign uh, one labor item to that for the programming and this is the one that we created in the previous video. I'll just go ahead and drag that in here, and as you can see now, if we uh, close that, that to the main house uh, programming labor line item has been added. And if you want to edit this, or any of these items, you simply have to double click the item. And in this case, what we'll do is change the, uh, the hours here. And again, we'll just put a guess in here as a 10 hours worth of programming, and go ahead and save and close that, and that will charge the appropriate programming labor. And that's how you add items to a project uh, inside of SI 2017.